Can you imagine? Story, story, story come. He had a baby mama. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Olivia Ongere. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome back for yet another interesting video. So guys, as you've already seen from the title of this video, today we are going to do a story time of how I found out that the person I was dating, my boyfriend of how many years? Oh my God, two years, had a baby mama, had a kid, and they never told me. Can you imagine? So sit down, take your cup of of tea because this is just lemon tea i've just decided to add some i'll put it in a wine glass because why not i mean duh <laughs> so guys i met this guy can i tell you guys how we met so um, we're going to call this guy how can we call him random name that comes into my head right now is voxy let's call this guy voxy so i was minding my business as usual and then one random day like one random actually it was a very random day i received a call from a strange number and i'm just like hmm, who could this be so so I picked the call and it was a guy on the other end and I was just like, mm, okay, let me listen to what he has to say. And then he talks to me, he says, like the way he was talking to me, like the first sentence was like as if he, he had known me for long. Like he was talking to me as if he had known me for long. So he was just like, hey, am I speaking to Olivia? Da, 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 da. And I was just like, yeah, but I don't think I know you. I don't have your number saved on my phone. So who are you? And then he introduced himself to me. And he told me he had gotten my number from a friend. And he wanted to know me better. Da, 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 da. So yeah. And I was just like, oh, okay. Who, who is this? friend of mine who gave you my number and he was like no i won't tell you now until you meet me we will talk and i'll let you know everything so i was just like okay cool i have nothing to lose so i and then he asked me to save his number and i was just like by the way you at this point i was still in i was I in uni i think i was in uni yeah i was in uni finishing uni almost let's just say i was in my early early 20s so yeah i think 23 22 there so yeah so i save the number he tells me his name so i save voxy's number and voxy starts like talking to me consistently like hey how are you how are you today what are you up to you know the vibes okay you know the vibes you know what they do i feel so good taking this this is just lemon lemon water in this wine glass i feel so good taking it here so yeah so i saved voxy's number and voxy like started talking to me consistently like continuously consistently so one day voxy tells me hey baby when are you free i think we should meet and i'm just like again like what do i have to lose let me go see voxy i'm sure the friend who gave voxy my number is not a bad like would not have given Voxy my number if he's a bad person and had bad intentions. So I decided, you know what, what do I have to lose? Let's go and see this Voxy. So 
yeah i met Voxy. let's just say i he okay he was he was kind of my type <laughs> at then 60 yeah yeah when i saw Voxy, i was just like ah oh, he looks good not bad i like what i see and i think the same for him also because yeah you know when the feeling is mutual oh. <laughs> anyway guys so yeah we both like had that physical connection like both of us had that physical connection towards each other so yeah you kind of know now where this story is going so yeah like he was a nice guy he's he looked cool he seemed genuine and he smelled good he was smelling so nice so yeah so that first meeting impression tick 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 i ticked all almost not all okay i ticked most of the boxes of what type of guys i i tend to date so yeah so like we met we talked we vibed and he was just like i would want to see you again for a second date and i was just like okay i have nothing to lose so let's go with the ride baby so yeah so voxy asked me out for a second date for a third date for a fourth date and yeah he decided to finally ask me actually he didn't let me just be honest like we went on dates until like you just do like there was nothing defining about that relationship from the word go because we just kept on going on dates and like we never like really said now can we start dating or can we be girlfriend and boyfriend can we be an item so there was nothing of sort it was not a defined relationship red flag number one yeah so but then that is a very big red flag like you should not just move with the flow like always ensure you know your place in that person's life like even if you have to ask just ask so red flag number one it was never a defined relationship from the word go the next thing i just found myself visiting him at his place the next thing i just knew it was him inviting me over for dinner at his place and i could go and before i knew it we were girlfriend and boyfriend like just like that like he didn't ask me like can you be my girlfriend there was no such thing like we just were moving with the flow which is a very bad thing and a red flag if you ask me so yeah that happened and before i knew it we were dating like we were literally in a relationship like yeah before i knew it i just found myself in a relationship with this guy with voxy so we started dating with voxy and red flag number one we didn't define the relationship i will keep on repeating that so that if there is one thing you have to take away from this video always make sure you define any type of relationship at the beginning even before you start anything serious with a guy especially a romantic relationship always make sure you define like what are we like ask that question baby girl so yeah i started dating voxy everything was going on well like i didn't see any red flag with the voxy everything was going on well but now when voxy i think it reached a certain point like he could not take me out anymore like it was either he was coming to my place or i was going to his place like he was not making any effort you see why i told you always define the relationship yeah because i 
I now do not have any grounds of asking Voxy like what are we like why are you not taking me out on dates anymore so yeah it reached a point where Voxy was not making any effort Mark Hugh, I used to go to his place he used to visit me at my place and there were no any signs that Voxy had a child and a baby mama somewhere there were no any signs like never at any okay maybe he used to call them when we were not together but at any given point when we were together i never had like there was no red flag like you know when somebody has a kid at one point or another they'll mistakenly just mention their kid's name or they'll call to talk to their kids there was no such thing like i didn't see anything on that line like so like what i'm trying to tell you there was no single sign that this guy has a kid no single sign even in his house there was no any sign that he had a kid and a baby mama somewhere so like we continued dating and i remember at some point i started complaining to him i was just like hey nowadays you don't take me out like what's up like what's happening it says i'm coming to visit you like remember i was young i was still young i was in my early 20s what did i know about dating i didn't know but at least i knew i'm supposed to be taken out on dates that's at least i knew that right now if you ask me oh my god i know a lot of things and i know what you should check out for so yeah i asked him like why don't you now just take me out he starts saying oh you know my work i am very busy with the work da, 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 da. he was i think he was in his late 20s he was 20 20 i think 28 or 29 there i think 28 29 and i was 22 23 so you can imagine the age gap but one thing about your girl like i don't date guys in my age group i just find it it's not my thing i like dating older guys not older 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 but i prefer older men to younger or men in my age group so i was okay with the age gap so that wasn't an issue for me so i started complaining to Voxy like why aren't you taking me out and he was saying oh i'm busy nowadays he started being busy but in the beginning he was not busy uh so yeah and we continued dating he was a nice guy like i wouldn't say he gave me any reason not to like him and yeah with time i i fell in love with voxy yeah i know <gasps> yeah so yeah i could say with time i fell in love with him and we continued dating at this point there's no single sign that voxy is a dad no single sign like i've not seen any 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 sign that he's a dad and yeah so that continued for a while and later he came to tell me the friend obviously who gave him my number and yeah so um we dated for like a year and a year passed by we were still dating and then the second year came now the second year is where yeah voxy started becoming so busy like so so busy you even that being busy to a point where he could go for days without calling without texting one thing about me if you don't text me if you don't call me and we are dating like what are we doing i value communication in a relationship i'm not one of those girls who I don't really want you to text me each and every single minute but a day if we are dating i'm that type of a girl if we are dating a day should not pass if we have not talked to each other like yeah 
that's what a relationship is to me like a value i really value communication in a relationship so voxy could not talk to me even for two days three days and i was just like okay did they tell you voxy like he used to be like he used to have all the i don't know i was young and naive but he he knew i loved jewelry so every time he could see some nice jewelry he could bring me some he could buy me some and i used to be over the moon <laughs> ah about it right now looking back i'm just like ugh. maybe we'll just bring those earrings for 20 bob at town and bring it to me anyway it's the thought that counts guys it's the thought that counts so second year in this relationship voxy has started going mia like literally two three days he's not calling he's not texting and i'm that type of girl who like if i text you once or twice and i see you're not reciprocating that i'll also go silent so one day i just decided to ask him by the way what's going on with you and then he started giving me stories guys he started giving me stories oh i had um uh i had an issue i had a piece of i had bought a piece of land somewhere and you know i found out later that the land belongs to someone else they sold me land that is not like it's already owned by someone else so i've been going through that that's why i've not been talking to you da, 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 da. and i'm just like like dude i think we end this together like i'm your girlfriend you should talk you should tell me what's going on in your life you don't have to wait for me to ask you i mean duh anyway guys let me know like if you're in a relationship with someone like aren't you the person they should confide in or they should always tell whatever is going on in their lives because i believe this is your partner you have decided to okay not you're not married but you've decided to do life together to see where it takes you so anything that happens in your life i believe your partner should know let me know if i'm wrong so voxy tells me this story and i just like i didn't buy the story so much and i was just like okay if that's what has been going on and that's what that is what is making you to be distant from me okay so this goes on for a while for one month two months three months and i'm just like oh no so I just decided to, you know what, and I'm a very confro confrontational or, oh my God, I'm not the type of person to like have something that is bothering me and not say it out loud, especially if you're my friend or if you're dating. If I have something that is bothering me about you or about our relationship, I'm not the type of person to keep quiet about it. So I decided to ask him, like, can we meet and talk? Because at this point, I'm just like, I'm seeing this relationship going downhill. Like, we are not talking daily. Like, we are not seeing each other as often as we used to. And I'm just like, what is going on? Please, I need to know. So he tells me, you can come over and we can talk about it so i went over to his place you remember he stopped taking me out and i was just like nowadays i just look back and i was just like girl why why were you allowing that to happen like anyway and i'm not old i know better so voxy tells me that this is when voxy decides to break the news to me are you guys even ready? <laughs> Sipsty. This is someone updated for not only one year, 
this is the second year of our relationship like we were almost even i didn't i think we it was even it even hit two years mark with this guy like and then he tells me he drops the bombshell okay so have i even told you guys oh my god so even if, before i tell you what happened so there was this day i was going to visit foxy and he used to live far 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 from me like far i want to mention the place because yeah he used to live far like uh, 40 minutes from me away from me that is far yeah that used to be far so there is this day i tell Vokti, okay i'm coming to your place da, 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 da. i'm coming to see you we plan that yeah i'm going to his place can you imagine Vokti went with the house key and he knew i was coming so i reached there there's no neighbor of his that has his spare key i had to wait for voxy outside like outside for one hour tell me if that is some that is a man who loves you who claims to love you tell me if that is not a guy who hates you like we talked about it like i was coming to see you i was coming to your house and then he went he was just like Oh, you know, I was, I didn't know I'll get late. See, da, da, da. He gave me stories that I didn't even want to hear. And then the worst part is, so, okay. Oh, I did things for this guy. So I cooked dinner and then he was just like, no, I already ate from, I, like, he was just like, no, I don't feel like eating. I, where I where where I came from, I've already eaten, and I was just like, you just told me you are from work. Now you are again. You're saying that you have already eaten. Where you have come from? Okay, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. But me being the naive queen and the clown clowning queen that I am, I just let it slide, and I was just like, okay. So yeah, that happened, and I let it slide. Me being the good girlfriend that I am. I let that slide so this day now where were we we were at a place where i went to him now to his house we need to talk kind of yeah so and then he drops he drops the bombshell okay voxy tells me oh you know the real reason why i've been yeah i've been missing in action is because of my baby mama yeah he just said it it's because of my baby mama and i'm just like wow which baby mama are you talking about like what, make me understand what are you what are you trying to say you have a kid yeah voxy had a kid and not a young kid like he told me the girl was i can't remember is I can't remember the gender right now because it's something that happened long ago. I think she was a girl. Four years, guys. Four years. We have been dating for two years. So do the math. And he didn't like feel the need to tell me that he had a kid somewhere. And that hurt me. Like I was hurt. I was shook. I was just like, okay what's next kumbe this guy had been going through some drama with the baby mama and apparently that's why he disappeared i think even at some point the baby mama brought the kid to his house that's why he disappeared and that's why he could not i don't know what went on i don't know if the baby mama came with the kid to his house Remember when I told you he was not talking to me like consistently three months like it was just if I was not doing the communication he could not bother so he comes and you remember the land story it was not the land Voxy apparently was not taking care of her of no of her no Voxy apparently was not taking care of 
his daughter and the baby mama did what took the daughter to vox's parents yeah that does that make sense yeah now the baby mama was like no i've had so i've had enough of you i'm not going to do this anymore i'm not going to take this responsibility on my own anymore so the baby mama apparently took the kid to vox's parents now to the kid's grandparents so that is what was going on and then the kid apparently fell ill when she was at her grandparents at vox's parents now and then he was the kid was now brought to nairobi to vox's place because the kid was sick and needed some extra medication and radar and the kid was now brought to nairobi and that is what was going on and he decided you know what i'm not going to tell this idiot this idiot now me <laughs> about this whole thing because i've been hiding it from her for two years i mean duh how can i just come here and tell her so voxy was dealing with this baby mama issue and that is why he disappeared and he didn't want to tell me like of course he didn't have the balls to tell me or the audacity to tell me anyway yeah so voxy tells me this whole story and i'm just like why didn't you tell me from the word go of course they are usual things that they normally say i didn't want to lose you like i didn't i knew i didn't know how you would take the news and i didn't want to lose you so i decided to keep it for myself guys what do you think did he do did he do the right thing or did he do the wrong thing like that is such a lame excuse you can't hide a kid like you're a kid from i at this point i don't even know if he was still dating the baby mama or i was just the side chick i don't know i've never wanted to know up to date but hiding your kid from your current relationship no no that is someone who if someone has the audacity to hide and not talk about their kids for two years anyway i don't know maybe of course you are not together like 24 7 maybe he used to talk to the kid but if someone has the courage to hide such a part an important part of their lives from you for two good years and not like they find it normal they like what is that do you think that is a good person? Do you think that is someone who can take good care of you? In my opinion, no. So once he told me that, and I was just like, okay, so you didn't feel the need to tell me. And now I started to like internalize the land story was not, was not actually what was happening. He was dealing with the baby mama drama situation kinda, and he was just using the land story to hide everything and i felt so bad i felt so betrayed i felt like wow why did you hide that from me and i was just there looking at myself and i was just like nope um i don't know if i can deal with this situation first of all given the fact that the baby mama decided to bring to take the kids to your parents it means that maybe you are not taking care of your kid like you are not responsible because if you can hide such a thing from someone that you're dating it means you don't care like and yeah this man they don't change what they do to other women they will do to you so i was just like no this is not the kind of guy i want to continue dating this is not the kind of guy i want like i don't see a future like if you can hide such an important part of your life from me like what else are you hiding what else don't i know about you so yeah and 
after he told me that i think that day i didn't even like i was just like okay i just told him i need to think about everything that you just told me and i'll get back to you i really didn't tell him that i'll get back to you i just told him i need space i need time to think about everything that you've told me and yeah so that's how i found out yeah that's how i found out that my boyfriend of two years had a baby mama and a kid and he didn't feel the need to tell me so after that we tried dating but no there was just something off about everything and we just parted ways like the relationship just died a natural death like we just drifted apart because after that i was just like nope you can't hide such a thing from me and expect me to behave the same to act as if everything is okay mark you he was I, I was just like no this is not the kind of person i see myself with a person who can hide news or information about their kid i see parents out here who are so proud of their kids like and yeah so we tried dating after that and the relationship was just like drifting apart and that's how it ended between us so yeah and from there on i don't think we have ever talked i don't think i've ever seen him i don't think like and the funny thing is i knew the brother the brother knew about this and the brother knew me and the brother didn't even bother to tell me like i just felt betrayed and i just felt taken advantage of like i felt betrayed and that's how i ended things that's how things ended because the relationship died like there's no one point did we t tell each other that now no this is it it's over no it just died a natural death we just stopped talking with each other and that's how it ended so yeah so that's how i found out yeah so yeah let me know if you enjoyed the story if you need more story times 60. so guys let me know if you enjoyed the story if you need more story times let me know be sure to comment down below and i'll tell you the tea like because this kanairo has shown me pepe when it comes to men anyway i have more stories so if you want more stories comment down below and i'll do that for you guys so see you in my next video remember to like comment share and most importantly subscribe bye ciao ciao yay